In my previous video, we understood the narrative poem, The Road Not Taken, in which the poet Robert Frost explains to us the dilemma a person faces when he or she has to make a choice. In this video, we will understand the exercises of the English workshop. Warming up exercises. Now, after your SSC exam results, you have to take a decision regarding the choice of a career. What factors will you consider? Now, there are a list of factors that you have printed in your textbook. Okay. You have to choose and complete the web diagram. Okay. So, decision making. You choose your capability your skills or inborn talents, the possible difficulties you will have to encounter while making that decision, what is your ultimate aim, you have to study the job profile carefully while making your decision and consider your likes and dislikes. And easy money, your friend's decision, your parents' pro profession should not play a part in your decision making. In the next question, okay, you have to think of situations when you have to choose between two things. It may be small things or it may be an important choice. Okay, So, you have to think about any situation and write about it. Now, while thinking about this, the points to consider are to discuss how to decide what to choose. How should I decide what I want to choose? Okay, it may be a small thing. It may be a, uh, you know, a, a choice between a dress or a pair of jeans. Or it may be an important choice of what your future career is going to be. Okay, so first you decide what to choose. Okay, and after you have chosen, you know, you have taken your path, what do you feel when your decision proves right? And what do you feel when your decision is wrong and you regret your decision? So these feelings, you have to put it down in a paragraph. Coming to the English workshop, the first question, read the poem. Does it have a uniform rhyme scheme throughout? And write the rhyme scheme of each stanza or verse separately. Now, the first stanza. You have to look at the last word in every line. Now the first stanza has the last words would, both, stood, could and undergrowth. Now would, stood and could are rhyming words whereas both and growth sound the same. Therefore, the rhyme scheme of the first stanza is A, B, A, A, B. The second stanza, last words of each line, fair, claim, where, there, same. Again, similar sounding words and therefore the rhyme scheme again is A, B, A, A, B. Similarly, with the third stanza, we have lay, day, way, black, back. Again, A, B, A, A, B. And the fourth stanza, Sai, I, by, hence and difference. Again, the same rhyme scheme. So the poem has a similar rhyme scheme or the same rhyme scheme right through the poem. In the previous video, I told you that this poem, The Road Not Taken, is one wherein the poet uses metaphor to compare the road the diverged road or the forked road to the dilemma we face when we have to make a choice. 
Now, he uses symbols for certain ideas. Okay. For the choice of two options, the poet Robert Frost uses the symbols two diverged roads. I made a rare choice. Took the one less travelled by. Equally good options. Meaning just as fair. It was tempting and needed to be tried. It was grassy and wanted wear. Some other time for another day. Now rearrange the following facts in proper order and fill the flow chart. He chooses the one barely travelled. Choosing the lesser road has made all the difference. He observed one as far as he could. The traveller came to a fork in the wood. He planned to travel along the previous one some other time. Now as you read through the poem, you will know that the first thing that comes in the poem is that the traveller came to a fork in the wood. Okay, so you have to write this whole thing in the box here. I have just written the alphabet here. You can't write the alphabet. The entire thing has to come here. Traveller came to a fork in the wood. The next step would be he observed one as far as he could. Next, he chooses the one barely travelled. Next one, he planned to travel along the previous one some other time. And finally, he tells us that choosing the lesser road has made all the difference. So when the ideas flow from one to the next to the next in logical order, that kind of a chart is called a flow chart. In which season does a green wood turn into a yellow wood? Which stage in our life can be compared to that season? Now, a green forest turns yellow, as you know, during the autumn season. Someone's autumn years are the later years of their life, especially after they have stopped working. It is then said that the person is in the autumn or of his or her life. Why did the traveller choose the road less travelled? What attribute of the traveller does this bring out? The road less travelled means the path that not many people have taken. This could have been the reason for the poet's choice as he was probably a confident, enthusiastic, creative person who wanted to be different from the rest. So he didn't want to follow everybody and take the same road everybody normally takes. He wanted to be do something that was different from the others. Why does the traveller doubt that he shall ever come back? Now, Once a decision is made, one thing leads to another in the attempt to reach your goal in life. It is very rare that after making a choice, one reverts and comes back to where he or she began to start all over again. So that, that is the reason why the traveller doubts that he will ever come back. Now, if you were in the traveller's place, which road would you choose? Justify your choice. Now, only you can say if you were in the traveller's place, which road you would choose. Therefore, this becomes a personal response question. Okay, so how do you write this answer? Now, you have to put yourself in the traveller's place and think, oh, maybe I would take the road which everyone else took because that would ensure that I would be safe and I would reach somewhere because it's a path that many people have already taken. Or you could be like the traveller and choose the road that many people had not taken. Okay, so the choice ultimately would be yours. The next thing that is there in your English workshop is that you have to find another famous poem like for example stop him by the woods on a snowy evening and try to understand the symbolism that is used in this poem. Okay, so this is another 
poem about the words about the forest by robert frost okay and we have to write the symbolism symbolism like how we have learned in the road not taken okay so in this poem stopping by the woods on a snowy evening there is a symbolism about journey of life leading towards old age okay i have put down the symbolism here you can go through and understand what type of poems robert frost generally wrote now write a letter to your friend or cousin telling him or her about a difficult choice you have recently made for example pursuing one sport or hobby rather than the other or choosing between your studies or your hobbies tell your friend or cousin how his or her example helped you to make a decision now this would obviously be an informal letter so you could write it to your friend or cousin okay and the topic would be the difficult choice you made recently whether to play cricket or football that is one sport or the other or you you know you wanted to do yoga or join the gym or whatever sport or hobby you wanted to take up or you could write the letter on the choice you had to make between your studies or your hobbies okay i had to make a choice that you know i would take in this hobby and pay obviously lesser attention to my studies so this difficult choice or the dilemma you faced would be in this letter and you would also tell your friend or cousin how he or she was a role model to you and the decision he or she that is your friend or cousin one decision which he or she took helped you to make a decision okay so these are the letter writing uh, from informal letter now collect quotations on the topic choice so you have many many quotations that uh present at the moment on this topic the topic of choice choosing between two or more things okay i have collected one or two which i thought were nice ones like life is all about making choices every little thing that we do in life is a choice always do your best and make the right ones the right choices and always do your best to learn from the wrong ones another one happiness is a choice yeah things in life make it difficult but at the end of the day you control your own happiness and there is no need for you to say oh you know today she spoiled my mood no she cannot spoil your mood your happiness is your choice and finally you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice sometimes you are forced to take your decisions forced to be strong okay and there is no choice for being strong 